This is Duke University. We're extremely honored and delighted to have Jamal Noor Sargut joining us today from Turkey. She's one of the leading religious personalities in Turkey, the author of many books on the Quran and different Muslim mystics such as Rumi and Ibn Arabi. Also the head of a large and prominent NGO, the Turkish Women's Cultural Association. Uh, a very dear friend of the universities in this area, both Duke University and the University of North Carolina, and someone whose work is at the cutting edge of the constructive and healing role of religion in public life. So I'd like to welcome you to Duke University, Jamal Noor. It's wonderful to have you with us. For me too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Jamal. You. Thank you. There's a question that I love to uh, ask you, partially because you're so wonderful at not answering it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, here you are the head of an organization mostly of women. Okay. And um, many people who listen to you and read your books, they always talk about the fact that, oh, here's a very important Muslim woman reading the Quran, commenting on the Quran, offering Sufi teachings. Um, do, you, do you see yourself as a female religious leader, as a female Sufi teacher? When, when are you um, aware of being um, a woman? <laughs> Um, I don't feel myself Sufi teacher first. <laughs> if I said that I am Sufi teacher, I can't be. Uh, really, believe me, I can't feel myself uh, Sufi teacher. But I love Allah. Only I have, I have in my hand, I really love Allah. Uh, the other question, uh, to be teacher uh, is not... Uh, it's not important woman or man. Uh, you must uh, pass all these things. I don't mean that I'll be a man or I'll be a woman. I mean that it's not important for me. If you believe Allah, if you uh, understand, if you be happy what Allah gives you, if you riza, raz, uh, with Allah's uh, uh, what you give to you, you ha will have no female or male uh, part inside. That's not important. Then you'll be a murshid. Before, you can't be a murshid. Because you will look your students with m a male eyes or female eyes. Mm -hmm. That's make you very bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. This situation is not good. So uh, we must get away that habits. Uh, I am woman. I like to be woman, but I don't feel myself as a woman. Both of them in me. Mm -hmm. I only feel love. And I, when I look my uh, students, I don't know who is whose students. They are me or I am there. <laughs> but when I look my students, I saw one thing, they are my son and daughter, really. Although many of them in my age, but I feel like this. And I must show them how I live. So I have, uh, I must first do what I say. This is very important for me. They gave me a very heavy uh, things on me, but I like it, I like it. And I try to be nothing else. Let me um, ask you a little bit about uh, carrying the teachings and the work uh, into the world of North America, but also China. And um, you have done, and your um, organization has done so much to invite students and scholars of Sufism to Istanbul so many great conferences, uh, such large gatherings, wonderful books. Um, and then more recently, you've started to establish these positions. Uh, there was the position for the Kanan Rafai Chair at the University of North Carolina. You've done the program at Beijing University. 
Um, why? What interests yeah. you about what is possible in these different universities? <laughs> I have some uh, reasons, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because in Quran, Allah says you must study very hard. So I must do something. And if my teacher said in the old days, you must teach the Sufism in universities, I believe it. That's only the reason what I try to do. And I came to America in uh, 200, 2000 years, to in the year 2000. From these days, uh, North Carolina University and Duke University opened uh, their door to me and they want me to give uh, lecture, a conference and I, they understand me, I understand them. We trust each other and then I went to North Carolina University Dean and I asked, can I do a chair, can I open a chair? in university, he likes it. And I don't know how I do, but I did it. And not me, I, I believe that Allah did it, but mm. Allah used me, and I like it. Uh, at the end, we had a chair in, uh, from uh, nearly six, seven years in North Carolina University, and beautiful woman teach there, a uh, professor. Juliana Hammer. Juliana Hammer yeah. teach there. And they like her. Yes. Uh, I am happy because she's woman at the same time. And uh, now the university, inshallah, we must make contact with in t Turkey and Duke University for students exchange mm -hmm. programs. We make contract with. We will make contract with them. I like it very much. At the end, mm -hmm. but the China is very important for me because I really love Ibn Arabi. Mm -hmm. And Ibn Arabi says, uh, the last real human beings, perfect human beings, will come from China. I believe that. And uh, I, when I went to China, it's a miracle, because China has no any uh, other countries uh, ch chair. They ne never give permission to open a chair from other countries, or not religion chair, they never mm. accept the religion chair. You, you know, in China, communism happened now. So uh, how, how can I do, I don't know. Professor Du came from Harvard, and uh, uh, Chitix, my very good friend Chitix, talked about what I want mm. uh, with him, him. When he uh, came to China, he accept me and we open a chair there. Now uh, we made a big Islamic symposium this year and I saw the Chinese people how happy they were with the, this chair and the uh, Uyghur Turks very yes. happy with this chair. Uh, inshallah, inshallah. They will teach the you, what you said at the beginning, the beautiful face of Islam the happy pace of Islam to everywhere. Well, I don't know of really any other initiative anywhere that has tried to present this, the heart of the Islamic tradition, this beautiful face uh, filled with light in the areas of spirituality, the mystical dimension, literature, art, uh, not just in one university, not just in one country, but in multiple continents. And um, it's such a great joy to think about both the University of North Carolina, but also Duke being partners in this work. And the more people that we have going back and forth, um, your friends and community have been so hospitable in receiving us for so many years. And it would be wonderful to think of the time where we could return that hospitality. We could be the mirror for that and we start receiving some of our Turkish scholars and visitors and students over here as well. And um, it's such a great honor to share this time and this conversation with you. And um, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your time with us. And uh, it's a great um, pleasure to think about Duke and UNC being places where 
we can have this beautiful conversation about Islam. Thank you. Thank you.